hi guys so today i have another new video for you all and this time i'll be teaching how to alter a spool i usually take all the items which are lying around my house and i love to alter them and for this particular one i am using this collection called magnolias by dress my craft it's a beautiful collection and it has beautiful papers a uh, very versatile collection so uh, the first thing which i will do is i'm going to take measurement of my paper and the spool which I'm using, you'll see in the camera properly in a while, uh, is a empty spool, and there was a twine, like a jute, uh, wrapped around it, and that is almost over. And it, this spool kind of stayed with me for like three, four years, and I didn't want to throw it, and I just realized, oh, I can make an altered spool out of it. So. The first thing which I did was basically cut my paper to the size and after that I'm going to trace the shape of the circle, uh, basically two shapes so that I can put them on the top as well as on the bottom. Once you have uh, traced and cut down the shape, make sure you de-stress it using a de-stress ink. And the ink which I use the most is Gathered Twig by Tim Holtz and this is my absolute favorite ink. Um, after that, take some glue and just put it on top of the spool and just with a little bit of effort, you can clearly see that the spool is transformed. Uh, now here you will see that I'm struggling with putting the paper around my spool and I want it to be positioned in a certain way such that it looks visually uh, pleasing and um, before I do that I always like it's my staple I always de-stress my paper and uh, torn the edges basically roughen the edges and apply some ink to it this gives a very nice old aged effect and this is my favorite thing too and the next thing which I'm doing is that I'm taking a stencil of my choice and this is again by Dress My Craft. They have beautiful range of stencil girls. The stencils are amazing. And I'm taking a simple paper texture paste by Finnabare and uh, you can use any kind of modeling paste uh, which are available in the market. All we need is a raised effect and if you don't have that, use uh, toothpaste. I have done that in the past and the results were brilliant. Uh, once this is dry, I decided to give it some color and for coloring, I'm using some color bloom sprays. You can use any kind of colors. You can even use your watercolors or tube colors. Just put them in the bottle. Like if you have tube colors, dilute them with water, put them in a spray bottle and you have a very nice spray bottle ready, like sp color spray bottle ready. Uh, it doesn't need to be very expensive, right? And as I do my work, I keep on cleaning, cleaning my desk because I have a little bit of OCD. I can't work on a, on a dirty desk. Um, I generally try to keep it clean. And for that, I always use baby wipes. They are perfect. I mean, uh, I clean my stamps with baby wipes. I sometimes clean my brushes with baby wipes. Uh, they are a perf they are perfect thing to use, like, you know, if you want uh, your desk to be clean. And once I will be satisfied with the size, like with the shape of my spool, I will go ahead and start embellishing it. Now the next thing which I'm doing is that I'm trying to embellish my altered spool. And for that, I just use some twine and some flowers and I am just trying to layer them all together. Um, before I stick my flower, I realized that I did not give it a dimension. So you can see here that I am making a dimensional block which I can stick and then on top of it my flower can come. Uh, this usually gives me a little space to create behind it and I absolutely love doing this technique. Um, to give it a more fuller look, I decided to go a level down and I decided to alter my spool there also. And <clears throat> you'll see that I'm using some leaves and foliage to be added to the paper, uh, uh, to, to be added to the paper such that it looks pretty. 
uh, I always have a lot of foliage and leaves cut down uh, from my die cutting machine and whenever I just want to use them I quickly go very fastly I would just use them and my stuff becomes ready and once this is done I decided to add a nice sentiment on top of it such that it looks pretty and the sentiment is again a part of this collection while I was working with this I decided that I want to add this garden sign and for that I just folded the paper a little such that it became becomes a stand and it can stand upright um, after uh, this is done I am going to just go ahead and add some art stones and with art stones I decided to mix my micro beads as well as some grass uh, I really enjoy this uh, you know using this grass it has beautiful effect in one of the next videos I will teach you how to make beautiful stamped images using these this grass it's a very nice technique which you can learn and here are my micro beads I generally add these things to my flowers because they gave a, they give a lot of definition and a lot of texture uh, basically it converts a plain pale flower into a you know more textured and more realistic one and uh, in the end I'm also using some sugar dust or fairy dust I'm, I, I don't remember the exact name but I will link down the product below uh, to basically complete the look and I really hope you enjoyed this beautiful project very small one and it's really integrated and interesting and do leave me some love have a wonderful day bye bye